Barakathai Hawa, Barakathai Hawa Sha, Barakathai Hawa, Barakathai Hawa Sha, Barakathai Hawa, Barakathai Hawa Sha, Bahashem, Rakakadash. I like to give a shout out and salute to the brothers across the four corners of the earth trying to preach this truth and say their elect. Hopefully, you and me is one of them. <clears throat> I like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the men sent during this time to wake us up. And as you can see, Dr. E is on it. You got all different type of things happening. Okay. You got his left hand witches. You know, they they plan on opening CERN um, on the 5th. Okay. It's one thing at another. And a hey, they they mocking these people Fourth of July because really the the day um the day begins at sundown and ends on sundown, okay. But they got you thinking that the, the day begins in the morning and ends in the evening, okay. When it don't even work like that, so they they really mocking you because it's still uh I think gonna be the fourth when this really happened, okay. So see, Esau, he don't even he don't even like his own self. Okay. So yeah, let's get into it. Isaiah 37, verse 35, for I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Then the angel of the Lord went forth and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and four. 185,000. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpse. Hey, the most highs get ready to get down on these people, okay? Every time you turn around, you see Esau involved in some type of madness, some type of witchcraft, okay? Doing something um, just diabolical, okay? And forgive me, that's my neighbor dog. I don't know if you can hear the dog. You know, but every time involved in something diabolical, okay? Now, they supposed to turn CERN up, I think, what, the full power? Okay? And here it is. Now, you got AI hiding an attorney and saying it's alive. And allegedly, they scared that attorney off. I don't know how true that is as far as them scaring the attorney off. But now it's like this um this sentient AI is starting to gather following. Okay. So yeah. Let's go and deal with this, okay? Now what you see on the screen is three entities. Three men in black, allegedly, okay? Now we know that all these beings on the right hand and the left hand side work for the most high. Okay? And these beings allegedly threatened someone and told them to stop their research. Now, remember, allegedly on the walls of CERN, that word tackle come up, came up, okay? And they allegedly got scared, okay? So, yeah. We're going to um, play a few clips. We're going to filter through the scriptures, right? But, hey. Stay prayed up because the way things are going now, you're liable to see anything, okay? You are liable to see anything as they uh, proceed with this research, okay? Let's keep going. All right, this is Daniel 5, verse 5. In the same hour came four fingers of a man's hand and wrote over the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's place. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote then the king's countenance was changed, and his thoughts troubled him, so that the joints of his loins was loose, and his knees smote one against another. And A, they keep messing with these CERN, opening these portals. A, I think the most high, A, he, he's sick of these people, okay? He, he get ready to unleash judgment. And I think eventually... You're going to start seeing some of the wildest things you never thought you could see, okay? Now, people have something called night terrors. Now, when I was younger, one of these things came in my room. Mm -hmm. But this was during daylight. And it floated over the bed. And I started calling out to the Lord. 
I called him Jesus, right? And I was going off, of course, right? And it was like it pulled the covers off me. It could just been like, you know, like people say, night terrors, you know? And um, this was broad daylight. It's probably about 12 or 1 p.m. in the afternoon, okay? And I started, um, you know, telling the Lord that I love him. And then it just like backed up and absorbed into nothing. Okay. Now, here it is. Now I know the truth. Okay. I know the truth. And now we know that all these bands, whether they're on the left hand side, the right hand side, all of them work for you. Um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay. So I believe. The same way he had that uh, being right on the wall, that angel, he going to proceed to let these angels be dispatched and start putting ass to foot with these people that don't want to listen, okay? Now, I'm going to show you something, okay? Because this CERN thing is serious. Yeah. Now, and they said, allegedly, this was on the wall in CERN. This is Daniel 5, verse 27. Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting, Okay? I mean, this pay, this place is out of time. Okay. This man destruction is here. Okay. That's why you're seeing the most high bring everything down. Nothing is gonna get better. Track trains running off the damn tracks. Okay. Mold growing in the food, right out of the dirt with the food. Okay. Animals acting crazy. I did a story. You a damn monkey running around in Brazil with a whole kitchen knife half the size of his body cleaning it and, and scraping it looking like it's ready to leap off buildings on people you know it's, it's, it's like hey it's, it's like spirits being placed on things okay so yeah let's keep going wearing the hats and the overcoats they had glowing eyes and they smelled like sulfur According to Bender, the three entities communicated with him through telepathy, warning him to discontinue his UFO research and stop publishing his influential magazine, The Space Review. Afterwards, he became ill and didn't eat for three days. After this experience, Bender was repeatedly visited. He said they gave him headaches, they, they controlled him telepathically, and he ultimately gave up his UFO research and stopped publishing his space review, in which he documented UFO sightings throughout the world. He told the people that had been subscribers and he was working with, they told me we come from a very, very far distant place in this universe. Uh, we have been coming and going from your planet for some time, and we cannot allow you or anyone to interfere. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we have taken many humans from this planet to cover up our operations until we are gone. Job 14, verse 5, saying his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he can not pass. And see this man messing with these portals. Okay, they got these China, Russia, the U.S., NATO, uh, Pakistan, and all these nations. They all got nukes aimed at each other. Okay. And, and it's just like a bunch of madness is ready to just bust out all across the planet. Right? Food shortages. This guy on Southern Prepper say they run out of chemicals to treat the water, to clean the water. Okay? Let's keep going. Now, this is a clip from CERN opening ceremony. I'm going to go ahead and play it. But, hey, who does GOAT represent? Okay? Esau. Okay? He's a damn GOAT. Okay? And you know the difference between GOATs and sheeps? Goats, goats, they say goats will eat anything, do anything. Goats are very liberal, okay? Whereas those sheep, they got standards, okay? Yeah. Now, a sheep, a, a, if, if, a, if a sheep know that you was on, a sheep will follow you all the way to, a end, to the end. But goats, they say goats will try to eat your clothes, nibble on your shoes, you know? 
constantly get on your damn nerves. Same thing Esau did, okay? Doing crazy stuff like trying to open CERN, okay? So we're going to go ahead. We're going to play this um, this uh, clip from CERN. This is an old clip. A lot of people seen it, but hey, there's all type of symbolism in it. See, this is what Esau do, okay? He's always involved in some mischief, okay? Like a cartoon character, except this is real life, okay? Pinky in the brain. Always up to some. These damn devils are. Always up to some, okay? Let's keep going. Now, normally we deal with the KJV, but I want you to hear... How it sounds in the Berean study Bible. Okay, now remember the Bereans, they were well studied. Okay, this is the Berean study Bible. For a fool speaks foolishness. His mind plots iniquity. He practices ungodliness and speaks falsely about the Lord. He leaves the hungry empty and deprives the thirsty of drink. And see, this man is a whole fool out here. Okay. I mean, hey, Esau is the basis of man. He can't help himself, okay? This is what he was designed to do. Remember, he's the most high sword, okay? But in, in the midst of him being the most high sword, he's also the basis of man, the most foolish one, the vile creature of the earth, okay? So, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and find part two and play part two. And in certain parts, they actually got... Like these men with the hats on, okay? These these uh dark entities, these black bands, okay? And all black, okay? See, they they intent on trying to unlock portals to the universe, see? A fool speak foolishness, okay? He's the fool of the earth. Okay. Alright, this is part two. Hey, and like I said, here again, here go, here go Esau on the ground, okay? Because this is what's going to happen, okay? He going to be put on the ground, then he going to be put in the ground, okay? Let's keep going. This is Proverbs 8, verse 35. For whosoever find me, find of life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me, runneth his own soul. All that hate me, love death. 
Yeah, see, he, he, hey, this man loves death, right? Let's keep going. <clears throat> yeah, and they got these left hand witches, okay? They're uh, monthly procrastinators, stargazers out here making bold claims, okay? I'm, I'm gonna let you um, hear what these people they try to say is a time traveler, but don't listen to Esau. That's the this man left hand witches. That's what it is, okay? Let's keep going. <clears throat> yeah, and these ain't no time tra travel. This just this, this man witches. That's what it is, okay? And I I found this story a while back. I didn't do nothing with it, you know. But I want I want you to hear what they're saying. outside your home. If you see any unidentified figure inside your home or from the corner of your eyes, now by Esau's spookism, okay? What it is is that they're scared and they don't have the answers, okay? The most I only dealt with Jacob, okay? But, hey, the reason why I played that sure felt like Egypt to me for some reason, okay? Because, remember, they couldn't go outside. It was darkness, okay? So, yeah, let's go and get that scripture, and then I'm going to read what this story is saying. Exodus 10, verse 21, And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand towards heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand towards heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. They saw not one another, neither rose any from his place for three days, but all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. You see that? Esau was losing his damn, not Esau, but I mean, Egypt, Egypt they were losing their damn mind because of the darkness. But hey, Jake, we had the light. You see that? And during this time, we're going to have the light again, okay? We're going to have a spiritual light, okay? And we're going to have a hedge of protection. And, and most high willing, okay? I'm, I'm part of the ones that be protected, okay? Let's keep going. Yeah, now normally something like this, I would have just ignored it. But the only reason why I kept it was because it was making a lot of noise back in May, okay? What it is, Esau, he just don't have the answers. Okay? And these people get spooked because a lot of strange things they're saying. Okay? So yeah, let's keep going. The user gives um, chilling and baffling information on events that are supposed to start this summer, including new daily creatures called stalkers being discovered. You know, Cowboy Leonard, who is also known as the hidden god, there they go, you see? Claims in a short video that the ground in the U.S. was split open along with millions of people vanishing. Along with sharing terrified images related to each event, there are specific dates that people have been urged to remember this year between July and October reports daily star. Interesting about July. Okay. It seems as though the first event, which will be called the Great Split, will happen on July 14th and is set to be America's biggest earthquake ever. Okay, then on August 9th, over 2 million people will mysteriously disappear before the new creatures called stalkers will emerge on October 3rd. Okay. And he said he got a leaked document, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, Esau, they they just trying to figure things out. They got their left hand uh, spurs and wizards out here. Okay, and he not the only one that said this. Said this. It's some witch in Mexico, you know, one of them, one of them left hand um witches okay says something crazy too okay so yeah let's keep going hey and remember this flag was torn in half right 
back in June of 2020, right? Largest flag in America was torn in half after severe thunderstorms, right? So, yeah, I thought that was odd. So, yeah. You know, me personally, I believe the elect is just about sealed, okay? And, um, don't be surprised when they, uh, turn up soon, you're going to start seeing more and more stranger things. So, yeah, I'm going to get a scripture and close out, okay? Okay, this is Luke 21, verse 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and with great glory. Oh, and another thing, <clears throat> before I close out, when I had that dream that I seen that man in purple on um that spaceship, it was a lot of levels, and I was being taken up through all these different levels, all these different bands and, and, and stuff like that worked for him, that man in purple with the huge bear, like I said, I thought it was the Archangel Michael, okay, and A, remember, they say, uh, Jacob, you know, they're going to have God-like power. Let me go ahead and get that. Zechariah 12, verse 8. And that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them, and that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. So, yeah, keep your eye on CERN. I believe they, they, they I believe Esau, he get ready to cash a check. Or try to cash a check that his ass, however it go, his ass get ready to try to cash a, a check that he can't uh, cash or have it, you know what I mean. Whatever, it's, it's through for this man, okay? The devil's get ready to come down hard, so hopefully he's edified. i see you again real soon, okay? And keep your eye on CERN, okay? Shalom.